on Sunday, July 10th, 2022, our most cherished Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously called Supreme Master Television team members, kindly asking about their well-being and sharing her wisdom on some recent news from the United Kingdom as reported by the team. Shining World Leadership for Caring Award Laureate, His Excellency Boris Johnson's resignation as Prime Minister, and Her Royal Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's support of new animal people protection laws. Master, we have something to report. Telling. Boris Johnson resigned on July 7th as uh, Prime Minister. As I can. Yeah, I know that. To you. I know that. <sighs> uh, what did he do? To deserve his uh, early uh, retirement? A number of ministers had resigned, and um, there, there had been some accusations that he ignored that an advisor who had some allegations against him regarding making unwanted sexual advances, that he knew that he had a history of doing that and that he didn't do something about it. And so he had to apologize for appointing that person, and, but others were upset about that. And so many of his uh, colleagues resigned, and that uh, precipitated his resignation. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So these are the sins, yeah? The crime committed. Yes. I mean, not he committed, but what else? Party gate, I guess. Yeah, the Master has talked about this actually. That somebody just tried to give him a birthday cake, and they made a big deal about it in the media that he was violating the COVID protocols and things like that. I know they're working together in the same office. Yes. At number ten Downing Street. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. So it would be terrible if you don't come and say to your boss, "Happy birthday." Yes, Master. Well, he should have thrown the cakes away then. <laughs> <laughs> Then there will have been more people who will resign <laughs> for being rude or impolite or ungrateful. Mm, yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah, sometimes people give you things, and if you don't accept, people get upset. That's true. Many people were upset with me because they want to give me money, they want to give me land, and I refused them all. Mm. And I got some angry outright. Oh. oh, yes. Why? Why? Huh? Why didn't you accept the land? I want my son to be uh, your monk. That's why I give this land and say, your son is not accepted yet, for example. Yes, yes Master. Master. And the land, we don't need it right now. And upset, shouting, you know? Mm. Yelling, yeah. Oh. <sighs> and at one time, somebody gave me something. I say, okay. She say it's good for me and that and this uh, title of medicine. Uh -huh. So I say, but how much is it? And she pulled a face at me. <laughs> Oh, and oh. wave the hand, you know, very strongly, like, ah. Oh. Then I had to accept it. Oh, yes, yes, Master. But then I gave her something else later. I see. Sometimes it's difficult to refuse people's courtesy and kindness. That is yes, true. Master. Yeah, because they meant it. They meant well. It's just that if, if I accept the one uh, gift here and some money there, then it will continue forever. Yes, Understood. that's right, Master. So and I said to that person who gave me the medical gift for the eyes, okay, you must accept something from me later. So everybody else knows about it, at least. Yes, Master. Sometimes they give it openly, sometimes alone. Not alone, but I'm passing by, not too many people there. Mm -hmm. They don't know, but mostly people see. It's very difficult to be in a political position. Yes. I guess uh, Mr. Johnson knew about these uh, sexual advances. That's what I say, right? He knew, right? Yes. Maybe he knew after or before, I don't know. But probably because this person is talented. Right. They probably have a good uh, mind, a good intelligence. And Mr. Johnson probably needed it. Yes, yes. But then probably he told him, don't do it again. But how can you tell another person not to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see? That's right. yes, yes, yeah, see? probably he trusted that person now in that position will not do such uh, sexual advances again, but maybe he continued. Right. Or maybe it was the past. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I guess it's very difficult. Yes, yes Master. You see, the English people watch too much James Bond movies. Oh. Yeah, James Bond always has a girlfriend or a mistress, always some woman around. He's always having this physical pleasure with some woman. On his mission. Yes, Master. Sometimes because of duty, sometimes not. Mm, yes, Master. And uh, that is something I don't like too much about James Bond. Mm. Yes. I like other parts, but not a lot, because there's always destruction. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Always bombing, uh, killing, even though maybe with a good cause. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it's just the movies. They want to dramatize it. They need to make it more dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. 
And uh, this is maybe that's what it is. So they just uh, take it for granted that some sexual advancement is nothing. I mean, I don't know what he did. We didn't rape anybody. Maybe just try flirting. Mm. So it depends on how grave this uh, sexual advancement is. That's true. And if people don't like it, then it's Johnson just has to change it, I change a person immediately at the time that people complain. Uh, right, Master. Yeah, but he didn't change. That's a mistake that he made. Yes, yes Master. Master. It may have been a mistake to appoint that person into government office, but maybe it was with the warning to not do this again for the government's sake. Right, yes, yes Master. Master. That person maybe promised him, but then underneath or behind him, he was still doing something. And I don't know if they complained to Johnson or not. Yes, Master. Until later, it was too late or something. Mm. If they did complain, then all he has to do is just change it. Change the person. Correct, Master. Fire him. Mm-hmm. Yes. And ask someone else to come in. Yes, yes Master. Master. But maybe Johnson needed him because he has good advice or something. You never know. It's very difficult to find a good person that you're compatible to work with and has intelligence, has the talent that you need. I suffer a lot also, because many people who have talent but have big ego, well, it makes a lot of trouble for me, a lot of times, a lot of times. Yes, Master. All these decades, I suffer also. Of course, I can always change a person, but it's not always better. Mm, yes, Master. Yes, Master. Well, at least they don't do these kinds of things, not the sexual advancing. Yes, Master. Just the uh, ego, doing the opposite of what I ask, or just adding uh, his own... Uh, Opinion, thinking he knows better than me. Maybe he knows better, but in some other areas, not what I ask, things like that. So it's very difficult to be in the seat of the leader and have everything you need. A long time ago, there was a prime minister of China. I forgot his name. Could be Guan Chong. No? The king has many other officials, and they also have this and that and other defects. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But uh, the prime minister said yes. But that's all the defects they have. The rest is good because you cannot always have a 100% perfect person. Yes, yes, that's right. So he continued to use them. But maybe it was not as bad as Mr. Johnson's situation. Yes. Politics is a very, very bad arena, whether you are good or bad. Yes, yes, Master. I'm glad you don't want to be any politician. Do you? No, no, no not you. at all. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. At least you are same, like me. <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, it's difficult to work. So about the party gate, I- I'm not sure how big the party was. I'm not sure how Mr. Johnson could refuse all these people who came and wish him well on his birthday. Because they work in the same place. Yes, Master. Just a step uh, next door, and open the door, and uh, the boss is there. Mm, right. So maybe they came together in the whole office and wish him happy birthday and maybe, by the way, they had a drink or had a cake. <laughs> yes, Master. The cake was not even open and eaten yet <laughs> at that time when he was interviewed. Yes, yes Master. Master. I mean, after they already accused him of the party gate. Mm-hmm. If they didn't make a party, then maybe they made a little mistake, but it wasn't a big deal. Mm, yes, Master. It's no big deal. Yeah. They work together in the same office, just like... Christmas or New Year, I give you some cakes, some drinks. Yes. All vegan, yeah? Yes, yes that's thank right. you, Master. No alcohol champagne, a vegan cake, and you stand together and say, thank you, Master. <laughs> yes. yes, Master. But you work in the same place. Right. Yes, that's right. But we have a little difference, is that none of you are going out anywhere, hmm. or going back to family and coming back and forth, not like that. Yes, correct, Master. All of you stay in the same place and don't go out. And whenever you have to go out for any reason, then you are... Uh, in prison for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and we bring food to you. <laughs> Can't even go to the kitchen to get food. Yes, yes Master. Master. So maybe it is a little different there. At number 10 down in Prime Minister office, and people, uh, their employees, they go to work and come back and go home. Mm-hmm. Yes, right, Master. They are not quarantined inside. But as a habit in the social background of our world, people always come and congratulate or say or happy birthday to their boss. Yes, they do. So maybe they forgot about the lockdown. Oh, yes, Master. That's all, okay? You know, when you think, oh, today is his birthday, they just jump in, you know? <laughs> they forgot to think. Yes. It's no big deal. Yes, right. Master. It's true. But it's not really a big crime that he committed here. Mm-hmm. That's yes, right, Master. Master. The only crime is that advice of a with sexual advancing character. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, Master. And all they have to do is just change that guy to face the other 
workers. Right. Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah, and apologize for the party if they did have. I understand the anger that many will feel that I myself fell short when it came to observing the very rules which the government I lead had introduced to protect the public. And I accept in all sincerity that people had the right to expect better. And now I feel an even greater sense of obligation to deliver on the priorities of the British people. The Scottish Prime Minister, she went home to see her mother or something. People saw it and also accused her of breaking the lockdown. Uh, At that time, the lockdown was very serious, actually. Mm -hmm. At that time, when the pandemic was first coming, it was more serious. So she apologized awfully on air. Uh, she said, I'm kicking myself. I'm really sorry. And they forgive her. Uh, no, yes. that's good. It's no big deal, man. That's true. Mm, yes, Master. Then humans, they're not killing anybody. They're not stealing anything. Yes, Master. Just employing the wrong person. Just has to fight him. Yes. That's all he has to do. He didn't have to resign. He's a very good prime minister for England. Yes, he yes. is. Yes. And he has made a very good deal for Hong Kong people for the transition between uh, the British governing and the Chinese. Oh, yes, yes that's right. And the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has sent a strong message by allowing up to three million people in Hong Kong who have British national overseas status because they were born before the territory returned to China to live and work in the UK for longer. We made clear, Mr Speaker, that if China continued down this path, we would reintroduce a new route for those with British national overseas status to enter the UK, granting them limited leave to remain with the ability to live and work in the UK and thereafter to apply for citizenship. And that is precisely what we will do now. He made a very good deal. And he has been a good prime minister. But the real sins, the real crimes he committed, you want to know? Oh, yes, Minister, please. Nobody mentioned it. Number one, he keeps going to Kiev <laughs> to support democracy government over there. Yes, Minister. And promising to give more and more support, more and more military equipment and all that. Yes, yes. Minister. Not only promise, but give. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, and supporting them financially. And, of course, supporting Ukraine to go into the European Union easily. Uh, yes, yes, right. Minister, yes. Very supportive. Uh -huh. Yes, Master. So he's really pro-democracy and pro-Ukraine. That is a justified country to go into the European Union. Yes, definitely. Yes, and not pro-Russia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how dare he. I'm glad to bid welcome in Kiev, uh, in our capital, to our friend, a friend of the entire Ukraine, and the, the friend of freedom, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister. This is your second visit, Boris, to Kiev after the uh, after 24th of February, the beginning of the full-scale invasion by the Russian Federation to our soil. And I'm grateful to you for this attention to our country, uh, to all our people, to our country, and to your leadership and uh, the unparalleled support by the United Kingdom to Ukraine. And I thank Boris for his uh, uh, commitment. Thank you uh, for having me once. It's great to be back here again in, in Kiev and uh, to, see, to see you, but to also to see how life is coming back to the streets, to the cafes, to the restaurants. It's much livelier, I think, than it was just a few weeks ago when you and I went on our impromptu uh, walkabout. Uh, Vladimir, but we've got to face the fact that only a couple of hours away, uh, a barbaric assault continues on entirely innocent people. Towns and villages are being reduced to rubble. And as you rightly say, Vladimir, we continue to see the deliberate targeting of civilians, what is unquestionably a war crime, and in a hideous echo of the past, the illegal deportation of people that the uh, Russian forces believe are insufficiently sympathetic to Putin's aggression. And in these circumstances, we can only once again salute the heroism of the Ukrainian forces, the bravery of your, of your armed forces. And 
In these circumstances, Volodymyr, I completely understand why you and your people can make no compromise with Putin. So, Volodymyr, we're here once again to underline that we are with you to give you the strategic endurance that you will need. And we are going to continue to help intensify the sanctions on Putin's regime. We're going to do everything we can to continue to strengthen the diplomatic coalition of support around the world uh, for Ukraine. And I completely understand and sympathize with the need for continued financial support uh, for Ukraine. We're going to work together to liberate the, uh, the grain, as you rightly say, that is being held hostage right now uh, by, by Putin, depriving people around the world of the, the food that they need. And of course, we will continue, as we have from the beginning, to provide the military equipment that you need, and now, of course, the training that may be necessary to go with that, uh, with that new equipment, so that you, the Ukrainian people, the Ukrainian armed forces, uh, will be able to do what I believe Ukrainians yearn to do, and that is to expel the aggressor from Ukraine. And we will work together with you and with our partners to rebuild your wonderful country for the benefit of Ukrainians and, I might say, for the benefit of the whole of the global economy. Thank you for having me again to, to Kiev. It's always, you. always wonderful uh, to be here. And uh, Slava Ukraine. Here I am, Slava. That's the first crime. Oh, yes. yes. You know not the second crime? What's the second one, Master? You want to know? Yes, please, please, Master. Please, please tell us. Say please again. Oh, please, please, Master. master. <laughs> the second crime is also very, very serious. That he advised his people not to eat meat. Oh, oh. that's why. Even openly. I think in the future we will move away from eating as much. I think that already where we science is developing um, meat substitutes that are basically engineered in the lab, aren't they? That are very like meat, and you won't be able to tell the difference between a bio-engineered hamburger and a, yeah, I'm serious, and a, and, a, and a real hamburger, and that will be the future. Very, very soon. I mean, it's already here, I think. It is, definitely. And I think there's also things we could do to mix up our meals, maybe a bit less meat and put some beans in. It could still be really tasty, yes. um, but great for our climate. Thank you.